The science behind it is that we expose your body to ultra low temperatures using nitrogen. Alejandro Velasquez provides cryotherapy treatments at his facility in East Memphis. He says it was designed by the Japanese in the 1970s to alleviate rheumatoid arthritis by exposing the body to negative 200 plus degrees Fahrenheit for small increments of time. Ever since, healthcare professionals and specialists have found new uses for the treatment to improve the body's performance and for many athletes, recovery time. Not only is it for athletes or people, you know, training, but it also is for people who have like arthritis, chronic back pain. He says other benefits include anxiety and depression relief, increased blood flow, pain reduction, and increased metabolic rate. In fact, in just one session, you can burn between 500 and 800 calories in just three minutes. So we've talked about it long enough, and now I'm going to try a cryotherapy session for myself and expose my skin to temperatures below 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's get ready to go. Okay, so now that I have my gloves on my hands, protecting my fingers and my hands from frostbite, as well as my wool socks and my warm slippers, I am fully protected and ready to go into the chamber to go do my cryotherapy session. I was only in there for three minutes, but it felt way longer. When it was time to step out, I felt this sudden burst of energy and warmth in my core. But cryotherapy does more than just make you feel good. There are very real uses for it in the medical world. We use cryotherapy for atrial fibrillation. Dr. Eric Johnson is with the Stern Cardiovascular Clinic in Germantown. He's an electrophysiologist and uses cryo to treat atrial fibrillation or AFib. That's when someone has an irregular heartbeat. That irregular beat puts a person at a higher risk for stroke or heart failure. He uses this cryo balloon catheter to freeze the bad stuff out of pulmonary veins. We ablate or destroy that tissue around the veins so the electrical signal can't get out and cause the atrial fibrillation. Dr. Johnson says before cryotherapy, older methods to treat AFib required radio frequency technology that would burn the tissue. It's definitely a more efficient procedure, so this actually takes less time and has less x-ray exposure versus using radio frequency energy. Back at Velasquez Cryotherapy Facility, Sydney Wells uses cryotherapy to recover from CrossFit. It releases pain almost immediately and I feel so much better the next day. Velasquez says women also come in for treatments to alleviate post-pregnancy pain. But before you hop in the tank, consider this. The U.S. FDA says there's no real evidence that the whole body treatments actually prevent pain or treat serious illness. And treatments can put you at risk for asphyxiation from nitrogen exposure, oxygen deficiency, and the obvious frostbite. But if you're still looking to seriously cool off, a session will cost you 50 bucks. I'm Kelsey Cairns for Local 24 News.